Hello, hi, it's Anya. I want to uh, take you on my adventure of moving to Barcelona. And uh, in the meantime, I will uh, give you a hint what I was doing, what you can do if you're moving to London or Berlin, uh, because I covered those two cities as well. <laughs> so uh, yeah, basically what you do, I would say two to uh, four weeks before you move, you uh, you should set up a profile on a website that uh, advertises different apartments to rent. I'm talking about a person who wants to live with other people and save up some money. And if you want to rent the whole apartment or you're with a group of friends and you want to rent an apartment together, then I can't help you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so basically what you do, if you go to London, you find a website uh, Easy Roommate or Spare Room. Like these are the ones that I can recommend to you. And then if you move to um, Berlin, you will find a website uh, Wo Ge Gesucht. I will put everything uh, in the description box. And if you move to Barcelona, as I discovered myself, <laughs> you put uh, Easy Piso. So um, basically like the same company as Easy Roommate in the UK. Uh, yeah, so basically you have now profile on this website. They are very like similar uh, and very uh, it's, it, You will discover everything very quickly uh, Just do it as uh, soon like four weeks three weeks two weeks before is already good because you uh, Have to leave times for the people to reply to you and then like sometimes you need a week um, until people can contact you because this is uh, what uh, is making their money. <laughs> so basically um, you are this, you know, like early bird and um, people have to pay or you have to pay uh, to contact some people and some people can contact you. So basically you have to leave this period of time to pass before you can be contacted by anyone. You want to think about this and don't leave it for the last moment because it can be tricky. Um, yeah, so basically when you have the account, you um, choose a nice picture that is um, some, some picture that you don't want to be um, seen as a, par a party person because nobody, like I, I understand you want to be friendly, you want to show your fun and all this kind of stuff, but uh, a person who is renting their home, like imagine you work like many years uh, to uh, you know achieve some financial situation and then you buy this property in order to rent it and that it makes you money So basically it's like asset for them that should make money for them And you never want to have a person there who would like smoke in their room Who would make parties like because you never can trust people who are drunk like to be honest I like to go party sometimes myself like maybe not often but <laughs> but sometimes as well but just think from perspective of a person who's renting this space. Uh, they don't want to see it as constant hustle, constant neighbors calling them, it's so loud, like the police had to come, you know, like the, everything just like stinks and they come and even if you move out, everything stinks like cigarette and you know, there's like burnt things. <laughs> and I don't know, hole in the wall or whatever. Like you have to really think from the perspective of the, of the person who is renting this space. So they worked really hard to buy this and uh, they want to rent it uh, for them to make some extra profit. Uh, sometimes you can try to negotiate the price, but don't be too pushy because uh, some people can be very sensitive about this. And uh, if you try to negotiate too much, they will think like, Oh my god like maybe she you know doesn't have much money like she will uh, maybe she won't pay like they are not sure if they can trust you because the first when you're trying to introduce yourself you have to put yourself uh, as an image of a person who won't fail to pay rent who will have all the deposit you, you, you need who will uh, be trusted you know to be left in this apartment and sometimes for a year you will be surprised like um, I invited you know friends sometimes but um, I had like one maybe a party but not really big one in Berlin uh, and still then I was just you know like really <laughs> really learning and 
editing on my computer and doing all this kind of things that are kind of quiet. And um, still, when I moved out, the apartment was not in a good condition at all. Because when you live for a year, I had a brand new place, like really, you know, fresh paint of the walls, like new furniture just delivered from Ikea. And it was really good apartment. I even had, you know, this uh, little kitchen for myself, little bathroom for myself. So I can't blame anybody on, uh, you know, like really using these facilities, but still they weren't in good condition. Uh, I got my deposit back and uh, my landlord didn't complain at all, which is very nice of him. I just want you to keep this in mind that uh, you will make some small damage to the place anyway and probably they will have to repaint some stuff or uh, prepare it before another person can move in. So it's all cost on their end. So you have to think that they want to make as much profit as possible and they don't want to pay any extra money and they won't always have rent. Uh, they want it to be a smooth, smooth, you know, like business for them. Uh, yeah, so just saying this, uh, maybe this is not what you expected <laughs> to hear first, but this is like the mindset first and then you can write your description and all this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, so then you think about yourself. So first you think about the landlord and then you think about yourself. Uh, what like best qualities you can say about yourself, like don't m make this much text. <laughs> Try to, try to, you know, write a bit, but not too much, because nobody has time to read it. There is hundreds of people who uh, approach the landlords, and uh, also there will be a few people who will, who will approach you. Especially good apartments, they have a lot of people writing to them, so you want to really stand out. What I will always do is, uh, the f in my description, and the first message I send to all the people, uh, to the landlords that I'm interested in, I am writing just about myself. I'm not like going into too much detail about the apartment. So basically what you want to say in the description is this. Um, obviously your name, age. <laughs> I will put a little like template in the description so you can check it, so you can download it as well. So it will be easy for you. But basically, yeah, what, this is what you do. You uh, name, age, nationality, you can do it, you don't have to. Like I notice Polish people don't have the best uh, reputation, so sometimes I don't do it. Although I'm proud to be from my country, it's not my fault what other people think about it. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, what I focused uh, on now, that I was living in London and Berlin and I can give references from my landlords. So this really helped. I got a lot of good response. But if this is your first time moving, obviously you just want to focus on, uh, you know, that you are tidy, quiet, uh, you don't um, party. I mean, obviously don't lie, but uh, you don't have to say, just like don't mention it at all if you, you would lie, but like try to really make a person of yourself who will be just quiet and make as little damage as possible. <laughs> and yeah, so quiet, a tidy, uh, not party. Um, you want to show like why you move. Another important thing is the date you want to move in. Uh, if you want to see the apartment before or no, if you have somewhere to stay, or you want to move straight from the airport to the apartment, or you will stay, for example, in a hotel or some family on Airbnb and you will check different apartments. So maybe you want to just arrange a viewing or you want to move straight in. Um, for myself in London and Berlin, I stayed for a period of time looking for apartments. Um, but obviously the first in London, I stayed in a hotel, then in Airbnb. And then I would you know, check lots of apartments, which was a very good decision actually, because I had no clue what I'm doing. So I couldn't judge the house properly. And I like, didn't you know, think it's important to check the location. I didn't know all these things. So it's good to uh, book a small amount of time in another place so you can um, so you can just, you know, like experience the different vibes of the place, you know, after maybe next time you will move somewhere or if you want to stay in that place, you, uh, it will be easier for you to judge, uh, 
to judge the person in the house correctly. Um, but I'm just saying to avoid trouble, basically. It's not that easy to avoid uh, trouble. So uh, you, when you don't have any experience in this area, you should not uh, trust everything you see on the internet. You should approach the person in different ways, like um, later on in conversation, which can be not easy and uh, maybe you just can't do it now. So yeah, just like stay in another place, arrange few wings and go to three different places and then you can choose. So we should choose basing on a location and basing on uh, who lives there. You should always, uh, so for example, yeah, I sent this message that is all about me and why I'm so excited to, for them to rent me this room and why I'm sure I will be the great fit. And then they replied to me, oh, you're so nice. Try to put some, you know, smiley face, like try to be really friendly uh, so they can, uh, you stand out because mostly people are like dry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically then they reply to you and they say, oh, okay, oh, this is nice. They will ask you maybe one question and then you reply to them with that maybe what they asked and you include your questions. So I have a list of questions also in the file attached and it's basically what I was asking always uh, is Wi-Fi included, washing machine, uh, how many people live in the house? What maybe are they doing? Do they speak English? Then I would ask uh, how far is it to get to the center? Uh, because sometimes maybe you check on the internet, but uh, there is other other you know public transport and some of this information you can see in the description box But a lot of times you will notice that people put different things in the description box and different thing they will uh, reply to you when you ask them. So it's important to ask the person because then they don't feel, uh, you know, like they can lie. So sometimes they would lie uh, in the description. You have to always ask them. And like, for example, they would reply to you, oh yeah, we have Wi-Fi, but actually you can only check your Facebook because you can't watch a movie. You can't, you know, upload or download anything because it's so slow. And obviously, if I am trying to do YouTube or I'm, you know, always on my internet, I can, you know, you always have to ask these things again. Some people would reply to me rudely that, oh, you didn't read the description. And then I reply, yeah, I wish you could see, you, you could see how many people change their mind <laughs> answering a message um, from what they put in the description. Uh, so yeah, this is the next step and uh, you put your questions and then they will, you know, like ask you, you have to, you lead them in the direction where you, when you like the room, I would make a table for myself. As always, I'm kind of organized <laughs> and now after a lot of struggle uh, with this area. And uh, so I will put this also, you, you can download it. So I will have like everything that's important in apartments and uh, first thing is name, address, I would just put something general, um, how long is it from the center, so uh, in Berlin you can put Alexanderplatz, in London you can put Oxford Street or Central, pa uh, Central Park <laughs> or um, how is it called this park, Big Ben, you can put Big Ben or uh, in Spain you can put uh, Barcelona La Rambla uh, and then you can check on Google Maps how, what's the distance and um, meaning with public transport or walking <laughs> if you want to um, yeah so this and then obviously like for me it was important to have double bed wardrobe desk Wi-Fi what I said before uh, and I have all this information and I circle what is the most important for me. So like, for example, I like when my friends come over and visit me. So this is important for me that it's allowed. <laughs> so um, also double beds so they can have somewhere to sleep. And uh, Wi-Fi, good Wi-Fi that I can work on. And the desk, because obviously to edit my videos and weddings, I need a laptop and a monitor. So I need a lot of space. And then, um, after you go through a lot, a lot of apartments, obviously rent and deposit as well. Um, 
then you, I had like two or three pages of uh, different apartments after I sent all my uh, questions and got answers uh, then uh, you basically uh, you are kind of confused because you like this apartment better but you're not sure this is cheaper this is more expensive but you just like go through your circled columns and you then see the decision made very clearly for you. So you don't have to worry about anything because you will be like struggling. Oh, I like this apartment better. I'm not sure. Like for example, for me, it's also important friendly landlord that always something will go wrong. Always. And you always want to have a person that you can rely on. And I had, I was very lucky both in London and Berlin. So we want to be lucky as well, but you have to create your own luck. Um, yeah, so I think this is it for now. I don't want this video to last forever. I think you got the most important information from it. And yeah, this is what I did already, like maybe two weeks ago. And I uh, chose a really nice person to live with. And I really like the apartment. I haven't seen it yet. This is the first time when I'm moving uh, from the airport straight to the apartment, but I feel like I'm a better judge of character now and of the um, place. We will see. I don't know yet. <laughs> I hope after I arrive there and after one month and six months, I will say, yeah, this is like the best. Um, I wish you luck. It's not easy. It's important. It's like the most important thing really that will um, shape your experience in this country. So you want to live with friendly people or if you want to study a lot, you want you know some place that has maybe separate bathroom, separate kitchen if you can get it. Sometimes you can find these places that have like just a little kitchen table with uh, you know a sink and um, a hob, but it's not really you know a huge kitchen. It's just like little uh, space that you can cook and prepare your food and uh, you can find it in very affordable prices if you want to be really left alone. Uh, sometimes it's good to live in a big house where you have a lot of different people and you can, you know, just if you don't feel lonely, especially if it's your first time moving away, you will feel lonely because there's no friends or no family. You maybe, you know, a few people, but it's not the same and you want to feel comfortable every day. So you will have bad days and good days and you want people to comfort you when you have bad days and you feel lonely. <laughs> so yeah, I hope this helps. Um, just to like think, think about it properly. Not only that it's oh, it's pretty apartment. No, no, just like think about uh, the experience of living there would be not whether it's pretty or no. You can live in the most beautiful apartment and it will be worse experience than living in a you know maybe older apartment that has great people great landlord and has the facilities that you need for your lifestyle um yeah so this is it and uh thank you for watching hope to see you in another video hope i wasn't going forever and you enjoyed this and uh, i will enjoy making more videos for you because it's really fun for me especially when I am going through this process myself again and I can like, feel the emotion of uh, you know go being in the situation exactly um, again you know <laughs> so yeah thank you so much bye